Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I'm going to be doing something super fun and that is going to a Glossier event. They actually have a pop-up here in Austin, Texas on South Congress. It's opening at 11 a.m. on October 23rd. It's really awesome because normally you can only find their products online, I'm pretty sure. And I know how hard it is to buy makeup and skincare products like online. You don't know what they feel like, you don't know what they look like. What are you doing, Sophie? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to just test it out and kind of see what all the hype is about. I feel like Glossier is a brand that hits the millennial target like so well. Their packaging, their marketing, like everything is just so millennial. <laughs> I hate to use that word, but you know, it's kind of true. I feel like it's very simplistic. I mean, a lot of the products in Glossier are very lightweight. I feel like the whole brand is just like kind of like let you shine through that's kind of my take on it um but there are two products that i have had my eyes on for a while now and that is the cloud paints which are like a blush but it's kind of like a liquid form and then the other one is boy brow i've just heard so many good things about those two and so i'm definitely gonna look out for that when i go to the store um but i'm excited because i feel like going to be very Instagrammable, so hopefully I'll get a good Insta pic while I'm there. It is on South Congress, if I didn't mention already. And if you're not familiar with Austin, South Congress is just a whole long street kind of leading up to the Capitol building. It's like a stunning view of the Capitol because it's like so symmetrical and awesome. But anyways, South Congress, they have like a lot of shops, they have a lot of restaurants. It should be a fun evening and I thought I would just vlog it for you guys because feel like I don't get out of my house much on the weekdays, so might as well, you know, make use of it and make it content, right? <laughs> I don't really know that many products of Glossier, but um, I asked y'all on my Instagram story to give me some recommendations, and someone said their clear lip gloss and then Halo Scope Highlighter, thebalm.coms, which my friend Laura was actually talking about, um, then the Body Hero Wash, the U Perfume, the Generation G lipstick. So that's the recommendations I got so far. I have a little less than an hour before I head to the event, so I'll keep y'all updated. So it's currently 5.04, I'm waiting on a friend, and then we're gonna walk into the pop-up. I found free parking right across, and that just makes me so happy. Free parking in a city is just the best thing ever. I grew up in a suburb, and I went to college in I would say a suburb, it wasn't really a city, even though Orlando's a really big city, but like, I didn't go to school in the city. Anyways, so I had free parking my whole life, and then coming to Austin, I'm just like, oh my god, you have to pay for parking? Like, insane, insane prices. One time I had a job interview, and it was in like this co-working space in like a hotel or something, so I just parked in the hotel, like, I don't know, I thought they would like validate it or something. And I was there for like an hour and a half, I think, and the parking was $12. And I was like, uh, no, that is insane. I'm trying to think if I have any life updates to share with you guys. It's currently October 22nd, and I'm actually going back to Orlando November 6th through the 10th to do grad photo sessions. So if you're a senior graduating in December, please hit me up because I still have a few spots left, especially if you want sunset, hit me up like now ASAP because um, those are going quicker than sunrise, but I personally like sunrise shoots. I think they're so beautiful. But yeah, so I am booking right now. I'm excited to go back to Orlando. I'm gonna be staying with my little that I literally haven't seen in a whole year. And it, that's insane. She went studying abroad in um, spring semester my senior year. And then so when I graduated, it was like summer and like I didn't see her. And then she was like not doing recruitment when I went back to Orlando, so I didn't see her then. And I was like, oh, Valentina, you're killing me. But I'm excited to reunite with all my fam and just like all my friends. My best friend Charlotte is still working in Orlando, so I'll get to see her too. And yeah, I'm just excited to be back, be back in my college town, you know? I low key want to go out, honestly, but since I have like sunrise and sunset shoots, I feel like that is just not a smart idea, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> so we are at the Glossier event, Woo <laughs> so exciting. And do you wanna introduce yourself? Hi guys, I'm Lucy, and we're <laughs> going to see the products. It's gonna be so exciting, and let's go ahead and get on in.
next morning and today I wanted to do kind of like a first impressions of all the products that I got and that I received. So really quick, I'm just gonna do a haul and then we can get on into actually using the products. The first thing is this Glossier Play Color Slide in the color Hardcore Velvet. It is this green, like dark green pencil for your eyes, actually kind of looks more blue now that I'm like looking at it. To be honest, I feel like it's hard for me to actually play with colors, but the formula of that eyeliner is really, really good. So if you guys like to play with colors, highly recommend. And if you don't, they probably have a black, I'm guessing. Um, but this is the next one. This is the Glossier Play Vine Lick Lip. I'm guessing it's in the color Bank. And it's kind of just this like berry red. I'll show you guys. This color is really pretty, especially for the holiday season. The next product is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. I'm excited to put this on under my makeup today. Um, I don't put on sunscreen every day, and I definitely, definitely should because my mom actually has hyperpigmentation, so she always tries to like drill it in my mind. The last product that I received from them is the Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. I've been switching on and off using this serum and then an Honest Beauty Serum. And I really just like serums. I feel like they just make me glow and make me feel really good about myself. But you do need to put a moisturizer on after this. So I got a moisturizer and I'm so excited about this one. It's the newest one. And I guess that segues into what I got from the pop-up event. If you guys are in Austin, highly recommend going to the pop-up because that way you'll be able to see all the products in person. And like I said, I feel like it's a little bit hard to purchase products online not knowing what they're going to feel like, what they're going to look like, especially like on your skin color too if they're like a colored product. So if you are in Austin or coming to visit, they are going to have their pop-up open until December 8th. So just keep that in mind because it was just so fun um, and their place was like super Instagrammable. I got some really cute photos, put them right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get into the products that I bought. This packaging is so pretty. It's funny because I got my nails done and I didn't really love the color, but now I'm just like, wow, this is kind of perfect because it's like a Glossier pink that I got on my nails. So I love that for me. <laughs> this is Stunning this product packaging is so like just pink and millennial and it's just so pretty and I'm obsessed So let's get into the products So the first one and the newest product that they just came out with is the future dew oil serum hybrid and I tested this out in the store. Oh my goodness. It is amazing It is so moisturizing and it's beautiful. It comes in this like beautiful packaging Love that. So I'm going to be using that as my moisturizer today. Um, next, I got the Generation the Generation Z. I don't know, I can't read it. Or Generation G. I don't know. But it's in the color Leo. And I'm pretty sure it's just like a sheer brown lipstick. And I can never have enough brown lipstick. It's, it's pretty sheer. I don't know if you guys can even see it on my hand but it's right here. Next is a lip gloss that so many of you guys recommended to me. It is just the clear lip gloss. And again, I tried it out in the store and I really liked it. So I wanted to get it and it's beautiful. It's like super Glossier vibes. <laughs> this last thing is probably the most exciting because I've been having my eye on this for the longest time. So this is the Cloud Paint in Dusk. And I don't really know if this color is gonna like look great on my skin, but I think it's gonna be very sheer and just very natural. So I'm actually really excited to test this out and see how it looks on my actual face. I'm so pumped about all these new products that I get to try out. And we're gonna be starting with the Invisible Shield. That feels pretty nice. And just so you guys know, I already did use this serum on my face when I washed my face this morning. So I already got that on my face. It smells good. It smells like sunscreen, but like definitely like a low key, like scent of sunscreen. Reminds me of the beach. Okay, next I'm gonna do this little bad boy, the Future Dew. Um, 
and it's new, so I'm gonna have to do a couple pumps. Okay, there we go. And oh my god, this is so pretty. When it spits out, it's like literally a pink, like lotion. I don't even know how to describe it, but you can kind of tell I'm kind of like glowy right now. So since we're finished with our skincare routine, I'm just going to go through my makeup routine and do all my steps that I would usually do, but then I'm going to actually film when I get to the Glossier um, products just so we can make this video faster because I know everyone who's probably watching this video is just here for the Glossier products. So let's do that and I'll be back with the first Glossier product I use. I did foundation, concealer, and then bronzer, and it was a cream bronzer, so that's why I did it in like the cream phase. But since we are in the cream phase and I haven't powdered myself up yet, we are going to be using this cloud paint in dusk and see what the hype is all about. I'm really scared that I'm going to put on way too much on my finger, and actually, I'm going to use a beauty blender. I just washed all my beauty blenders for this video, so I'm very proud of myself. Dab it on the beauty blender. Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like it's definitely not going to show up as much as it would on a fairer person. And I could have gotten like a darker color, but the only darker colors they had were like a red or like a berry. And I just really liked this peach color. So I'm just going to roll with it and see how it does on my skin. Um, maybe I even have to like build it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can even see the pink on camera it's definitely gonna just be very natural and like a little like flush to your face if you're my skin color and using this color at least <laughs> but I do like using it with a beauty blender because if I was using my fingers to blend it out I feel like it would just like move around all my foundation and that was kind of what I was worried about I honestly like this um, like usually I put on my blush a little too heavy but I like that it's a little bit like more natural. So I decided that I should probably just use this and give it a go even though it is blue. I'm going to a coffee shop today so I mean I'm not doing anything super like dramatic but whatever. Let's just give it a try. If you guys don't know this about me, I have a lazy eye aka I can't really see out of this eye. Everything's super duper blurry so this eye is always the one being used. So if this eye is closed, I really can't see anything so it really makes putting on eye makeup so hard for me so hard <laughs> okay this is actually really pretty i put on like a reddish brownish eyeshadow underneath and then this on top actually kind of pairs really well i'm gonna smoke it out a little bit just so it's not too defined because whenever i do eyeliner i just mess it up like one's not even one has like a bump right here so if you smoke it out it just like looks messy it, it looks more intentional all right guys <laughs> so my makeup is pretty much done and all i have left is lip stuff and since i have two colored lips i'm gonna go with the sheer one first and see how that does um and if i want to put a little bit more on top then i'll i'll use the lip vine vinyl vinyl vine lick <laughs> So this lipstick is pretty sheer, but I feel like it's also buildable. Like I keep just going over it and more colors coming off. I like this because it lets your original lip color shine through a little bit um, while giving you like a tiny ounce of color. Now we're just going to finish it off with the lip gloss. Oh yeah, that goes on so nice. Mm. Oh yeah, I love that. I love that. This is the completed look using all my Glossier products. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Like I look so just like fresh faced, very like glowy. If you were to ask me to pick my favorite products that I use, I would probably say, let's see. I really, really love this Future Dew moisturizer oil thing. The past two years, I've always been about face oils. Like I literally put face oils under my makeup because that's how dry my skin is. And then this lip gloss is actually really freaking good. Like I, I feel like it's just not sticky. It's makes my lips feel moisturized and it's just really pretty. And it adds a nice finishing touch to your look. So that is it of this video. If you guys are interested in any of these products I shared with y'all today, they will be linked in the description box below. So go check them out. And again, if you're in Austin, their pop-up will be open until December 8th. So go there, get some products, get your Insta pic, 
and just have fun and enjoy their products. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.